Okay, so in this video I'm going to have a look at working out the median and the mode from a grouped frequency table. This grouped frequency table I used in a previous video to work out the, or to estimate the mean. Um, now we're going to have a look at the median and the mode. Now I'm not going to estimate uh, an actual value for the median and the mode. Uh, there are ways of doing that using formula, but I'm not going to do that in this video. What I'm going to do is look at working out the median group and the mode group. Um, so which one of these ranges is the median and which one of these ranges here along the top is the uh, mode. So let's just do the mode first. That's the easier one to do. So the mode is just the age group that contains the greatest number of people. So if we look along here, 23 is the biggest number of people. So in other words, 23 people were between 20 and 30 years of age. So our mode here is going to be 20 to 30 years of age. So it's in that group there, or in that particular range there. Now, as I say, there is a way of estimating what value would be between 20 and 30 years of age. But uh, I won't, as I say, I won't do that in this video. So that's all I'm going to do in terms of mode. So median then is the other one that I'm going to do. So where does the median occur? Within which of these ranges does the, does the median occur? So if we look at our um, frequency here, we have 20, 21, 23 people, 16 people, 11 people, and so on. So that's a total of 112 people. So the middle number then is going to be, if we divide this by two, we get uh, 56. So in other words, the median is going to be the 56th number, the 56th number, and the 57th number, and we just take those and we divide them by 2. So, so it's going to be the 56th age and the 57th age, and add them, divide by 2. Now, we, can, we don't know the individual ages here. We're not given the original data, so we can't do that. But we can look at which group the 56th and 57th age is in. So let's have a look. If we start here, we have 20 people were between 0 and 10. So 20 people were between 0 and 10 years of age. Now, if we go up here, we've got 21 people between 10 and 20 years of age. That gives me a total of 41. So we're now up to, we add those two together, so you've got 41 people. So these two here, so if I just look at these two here, we're looking at a total of 41 people. So we haven't reached the 56th person yet. So we're only up to this, up to here, we're just looking at people who are between zero and 20 years of age, and we've looked at 41 people. Now, if we take the next one then, which is 23, if we add 23 to that, um, you can just do that right here. So if we add 23 to that, we get, for 64. So if we take in this group here, if we move up to here now, uh, we're looking at, so we're looking here, uh, if we take this in, up to here now we're looking at 64 people. So all of th these add up to 64. So in other words, we were 41 to here, we're 64 to here, so that means our 56th and 57th person are in here somewhere. So in other words, our median group is between 20 and 30, somewhere between 20 and 30 years of age. So that's our, that's our median. So our median then is going to be between 20 to 30 years of age. This is the group we're talking about. Again, there, as I say, there is a way of calculating the actual age, or not calculating exactly, but estimating the, um, the actual median age. But as I say, I won't do that in this video. So the 56th and 57th person are somewhere here between 20 and 30 years of age. So that's really it for median and mode for a grouped frequency table.